The theme of the present video is the experiments which suggested, designed, developed and accomplished Yanis Sakas, professional engineer in mechanical and electrical engineering and doctor of MIT. In order to demonstrate the feasibility of the legendary accomplishments of the great physicist, mathematician and engineer of the antiquity, Archimedes of Syracuse, by using the technology existing in his era. Yanis Sakas was a multi-sided personality, forerunner in the implementation of the alternative energy sources, mainly the solar and wind energy. Devotee of the ancient Greek history, he was regularly present each year in the anniversary of the battle in Plates, whose date he had determined commemorating the honorable death of the warriors defending the freedom of homeland. He was a daughter of the technology as well as all who served her diachronically, Archimedes primarily, whose the most important of his technological achievements verified, the hydraulic horologe, the steam cannon, and uh, the burning of the Roman vessels in the Syracuse harbor, implementing flat mirrors. Some of Yanis Sakas' experiments have been recorded by using the means existing at that time, home cinema, namely four, three of which in 1973 were related to the incendiary action of the sun's radiation, implementing flat mirrors. The fourth one, in 1981, the steam's power in ballistics with the steam cannon. Bronze sculpture of Archimedes by Gerhard Thieme, 1972. Berlin Treptow, Germany. The steam cannon, invention by Archimedes, according to Yanis Sakas. Simulation and Rendition by Alexander Economides. In the initial construction drawings of the steam cannon conception, in order to assess the feasibility of this historical Archimedes invention with materials available in his era, Yanis Sakas indicated a barrel length of one and a half meter, 30 centimeter caliber, five to 10 centimeters of barrels thickness, 60 cm boiler diameter and 1 meter length. To overcome the constructional difficulties of such a large machine as well as the unavailability of such a large holy tree trunk particularly after an unsuccessful search on the mountains over Lastros, Yanis Sakas birthplace, suitable for the construction of the barrel out of uniform massive wood material he opted to construct his simulation of the steam cannon in smaller scale, about one-fifth his original design. Schematic rendition of Archimedes steam cannon according to Yanis Sakas. Schematic simulation by Alexander Economides. To clarify certain aspects, some differentiations of the original drawing have been effected as, for example, the orientation of the incised stay beam by 90 degrees. The cannon structure consists of the following parts. A water repletion funnel. In the drawings example, the funnel is embedded on the inlet of the repletion pipe. A water repletion ball valve. In the experiment's materialization, it has been substituted by a screw cap. A water retention and retrapment pipe. A water restraining valve standing in place for a trigger. An iron vessel for water evaporation, that is a boiler. A pressure equalization pipe and a repletion of the void on the surface of the entrapped water for the purpose of helping the entrapped water to flow by its gravity into the vessel through the sprinkler. A water sprinkler pipe to let the entrapped water flow towards the bottom of the vessel. 
a barrel turned out of a uniform massive wood. Three iron belts reinforcing the barrel. A spherical shell as a projectile. A projectile restraining wooden stick to augment the thrust pressure on the projectile before release. An incised stay beam to resist the push of the restraining wooden stick up to its breaking strength. Incised stay beam holding socket brace. The process of shooting around with the experimental steam cannon is the following. The two valves of the liquid circuit are closed. The repletion funnel is filled with the right volume of water. The experimental volume has been of the order of 6 grams. The vessel is being heated by burning the inflammable fuel, wood or coal. During the experiment sticks of dry branches have been used. The repletion valve is open and water running from the funnel fills the vertical pipe section. The repletion valve is closed, resulting in the entrapment of the water within the closed liquid circuit. To energize the shooting, the lower, that is the trigger valve, is opened, allowing the entrapped volume of water to run downwards into the vessel through the sprinkler section of the pipe, the flow being enhanced by the help of the pressure equalization pipe. The water flows off the whole array on the lower side of the sprinkler pipe and drops toward the lower inner side of the vessel which has already attained its highest possible temperature. When the water touches the lower inner side of the vessel, it almost instantaneously evaporates and bears pressure on the vessel walls, the pipes of the liquid circuit and the back of the spherical shell being seated within its chamber. The shell is kept there by force of the restraining wooden stick, the other end of which presses the middle of the incised stay beam, allowing pressure to be built onto the back of the spherical shell by the steaming process within the heated vessel. When the force built on the shell and transmitted via the restraining wooden stick to the middle of the incised stay beam exceeds its breaking strength, the stay beam succumbs, breaks and allows the wooden stick to dart forward through the muzzle of the barrel. Having a freeway in front, the couple shell stick propelled by the already built thrust speeds out through the barrel and muzzle to the air toward the target. For a short while the couple shell stick moves together. Then the wooden stick separates itself dropping down due to its larger volume and consequent air friction as well as lower gained momentum lighter mass, while the shell proceeds toward the target.
Πάμε το πάει του αέρα από κάτω. Σηκώνε τα στάδια. Το ερώ είναι κάπου έξι γραμμάρια που είναι εδώ μέσα. An excerpt from Wild Dream Films production about Archimedes the Mechanic. There is great debate as to whether some of Archimedes' weapons are the stuff of history or myth. One of the most contentious inventions is the extraordinary weapon known as Archimedes' steam cannon. Many experts simply cannot believe that anyone could have invented a steam-powered weapon more than 200 years BC. Yet it's clear that the ancient Greeks knew how to harness the power of steam. Heron of Alexandria invented the steam ball, believed to be the first steam engine in history. Even the great Leonardo da Vinci believed Archimedes' steam cannon could have existed. Leonardo da Vinci, as we know, had in the end of his chirography, of course, Archimedes. Three of them were found in the bibliography τα οποία τα χρησιμοποίησε για να ανακατασκευάσει το κανόνι. 35 years ago, Professor Ioannis Sakas, a leading Greek engineer and leading Archimedes expert, became convinced that Archimedes had indeed invented a cannon powered by steam. Ο Σακάς ήταν ένας Έλληνας μηχανικός, ο οποίος έταξε τη ζωή του ακριβώς στο να ανακατασκευάζει έργα του Αρχιμήδης. Ήταν ένα μοντέλο, ένα προς πέντε, δεν ήταν πάρα πολύ μεγάλο. The results were surprising. Κάποια στιγμή λοιπόν με τη βαλβίδα αυτή μεταφέρεται ο ατμός μέσω αυτού εδώ του διάβλου και μπουμ, εκτόξευε την, την πέτρινη της σφαίρας σε απόσταση 300 με 400 μέτρων. Ioannis Sakas' home movies show one of his successful experiments with the steam cannon. But could the same experiment be repeated today? For the first time in over 30 years, we put Archimedes' steam cannon to the test. Richard Windley, an ancient technology model maker, has built the steam cannon based on Professor Sakas's original designs. The vessel at the back here is made of heavy-duty steel, probably bronze in Archimedes' time. There's a sub substantial amount of metal there which absorbs massive quantities of heat from the fire. The pressure vessel remains empty until the point of firing when a small amount of water is dropped via the valve onto the very hot metal inside, creating a build-up of steam pressure. The ball sits in the barrel towards the end of the cannon and is held against a collar just at the front of the pressure vessel. It's actually held in place by a wooden rod which runs the length of the barrel. The critical piece of equipment is this brake bar at the front which holds everything in place until the pressure reaches a predetermined limit when the bar breaks and the ball is then free to fly out of the barrel at high velocity. It's astonishing to think that Archimedes could have invented such an apparently modern cannon over 2,000 years ago. The early Greeks were perfectly aware of the um, principles involved. 
we're talking about huge pressures in these pressure vessels. This is running at a very modest pressure, but it would have been a, a mammoth task to produce the kind of results which are discussed by some of the ancient writers. Massive weights being hurled through huge distances. The success of Archimedes' various war machines eventually persuaded the Romans to abandon the assault on Syracuse and an attempt to take it by blockade.